Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I am going to be taking a look at what I think might be the worst doodle to come out of the runic island. Besides another one, like I think it's called Dotor, like something with the, uh, it's a dodo. It's like a beast and air type, I know that for a fact. Now, I'm going to be taking a look at Exoskelius. Now, listen, I don't really know what to do with this thing. There was like, when I was going to first try this thing out, I thought to myself, I looked at the wiki, and it said it got sharpen. And I was like, ooh, if I use Determination Jelly Max Speed with sharpen, I can go kind of crazy. It doesn't get sharpened, so the wiki lied to me for one. Um, and two, it has absolutely no setup besides Insect Instinct, which is, which sucks. So I'm going to be, I, I'm going to settle this one today. Here I have Attack and Speed with the Trait Revival. Once per battle, the student will revive itself with 50% health when it faints. So basically, once we faint, we're going to get 50% of our health back. But because of our Determination Jelly, we can always live at least one hit before we actually proc our traits. So we can actually live for up to three turns. And because I am using a max speed set, we'll be able to outspeed quite a lot of the stuff in the game. And I'm going to put a disclaimer here. I don't think this thing's going to do literally anything useful. So yeah and here with our moves we have b7 pursuit swarm and crystal cut there's just this is like the only good thing about it like i can set up b summon and it can pursuit hit and runners and it can hit Janeko, so it traps it traps Janeko essentially which is really good because you want to be able to trap uh something that's scary and it's nice because you also have the, the option of swarm if you want to use an all swarm team just have something that's consistently able to throw out high damaging swarms with revival it's really solid then crystal cut is here so you can hit full tattoo a bit harder because none of your other moves really hit it too hard the b summon is you're just going to lead off this thing the b summon and just like die that's pretty much what this thing's going to do it's going to be a suicide lead kind of like the Janeko i showcased a little while back but you don't really have any reason to ever save this thing that's the thing the thing with Janeko is that it has two immunities and it can safely get on the field and be an offensive pres presence even after it gets, um, like, it's Determination Jelly proc because it's able to outspeed pretty much everything in the game as well as being able to hit them very hard with Wish for Power. So, it's really good there. Um, and with equipments, it's just max speed. You're just going as fast as you can. You have Candy Headphones, Justy Bandy, and the Amber Trap Fly. I think we have 55... 45 extra speed which is really really good so we're able to be super duper quick and i think with this 45 extra speed we have like what like base one speed i think doodle world let me see exo exoskelius we have 84 this thing funnily enough has uh uh, four at the end of all of its stats 64 HP 84 attack 64 defense 74 magical attack 64 magical defense and 84 speed It just it's it, it's bad But it has a broken ability and it sucks at like stat wise, but regardless We're gonna see if this thing can actually do some work Anyway, let's hop into the first battle Okay, and here we go the first battle click ready don't need to do much else because uh, it's gonna lead and die Though actually it puts in some kind of offensive work here. I won't lie. Kadiri comes in. And I assume you're going to click flashbang. Because you're like, oh my god, the super effective mo Look, we got our determination jelly. Right? So we live that hit. Right? So we live that. We be summon. Right? Aurora flash. We die. Resurrect ourselves. And then we click a high damaging move, which how much attack do we have? Dude, that speech that sucks! What? Whatever, pursuit. And look, we get half health on the Kadiri. Alright. I was excited for an Exoskelius showcase. This is what it is mostly going to be. I guess if we find a very bug weak team, we can kind of try to go crazy with it. But I severely doubt we're going to find a bug weak team because no one uses bug weak teams because bug weak teams suck. But regardless, uh, I'm going to go into you. Actually, I can go into you because you outspeed. I'm gonna go, yeah, I can go into this. They don't really have any good ice type switch in. So once this dies, they really don't have any good switch in. I will get guilt um, attacked by this, unfortunately, which I don't want to have minus one. But I guess having minus one is fine. I can just switch out into like something that can actually like... I, I, I kind of brought like a, an offensive team that I didn't really have any thoughts behind. It. I just brought something. I was like, I'm going to bring something that's offensive. And then I decided to bring these things. 
there's a very good chance they're just gonna die. Okay. We good. And if we don't fight Kadiri leads, we can actually get a beast summon off and then two attacks, which is generally the goal when you're using Exoskeleus. You want to get, S and like, some moves off, you know? As Zap O Era comes in, and my switch into that, uh. <laughs> Bye, Jest World. I mean, Jest World's gonna live, of course, but, like, I would rather be able to get a better switch into this. Helicopter kick. And eh, we don't take too much from that, luckily. Three, four, five. Okay, we take. It uh, looks like. Uh, yeah, we're about like 63%. Around there. Uh, you don't really have a good switch into this. So I can recombine blade for free. Are you lethal ornament? How did you take damage? Wait, oh, best summon. That's right. I totally forgot I set B summon up. I'm going to be honest. Okay. As they go in. Oh, no. Oh, they're, they're the bad set. Never mind. We good. Um. Hmm. Hmm. From what I know of, Desdog is like busted so you are not fast enough to outspeed it are you uh well i'm gonna get hit very hard by dark type move i don't really want to take on this thing i could go into you and then yeah why not i'll go to this and then take out see how much damage we get off and if we get off some good damage i'm probably gonna go for what you're gonna go for the dark move obviously ready to fight what is that oh sharpen okay um Let's take out. It's, a, it's actually this is an exoskeleton, so not a exoskeleton. Hello? Wait, this is a little bit of damage. <laughs> w, is that Specky Thorns? Okay, solid, solid. Um. I mean, if you're gonna let me switch into this like completely for free, I am entirely down. I'm entirely down to Icy Slash because I actually probably could have gone for the Deep Freeze, which would have gotten more damage on the Dez Dog, which is in because of Venom 6 Wrong, because we minus one, and then I don't really want to do. I would have rather Snap Freeze there, actually, because I would have done more damage to the Dez Dog. Uh, they actually switch into something that cannot tank more than one Icy Slash. Okay. I genuinely don't know why they went into this. Because I always quick ice to guarantee my kill, instead of them possibly having Flashbang. But even then, it doesn't really matter. The flashbang actually may have KO'd me. If they had flashbang, it probably killed me. But yeah, Exoskelius is a uh, B summon's actually doing some like getting the good chip that we need. And B summon's always nice to have. Plus, we got the half health on Kadir, which allowed us to kill with. Uh, I forgot who I killed it with. Um. Okay. This is a. I just don't really know how I can deal with this thing. Is it gonna be days? Maybe. If it's days, I mean, my like fighting switch in is doesn't exist so hmm. i definitely need this around though i need ice moves i'll go into just world it's fine i can sack it off oh they go for close combat okay okay i'll do the same thing yeah i can't des dog is like utterly broken by the way like it's it's busted That'll be a fun show, guys, to be Des Dog. Okay, let's assault. We'll take it out because it has that minus one. And that's also a stab move for me. And I have a lot of offensive moves. Or offensive options, I should say. Not offensive. I have offensive moves. <laughs> Hello? What is this language? Let me careless assault then. Good damage. Good damage. And we win! Victory is ours! The future is now, thanks to science. Clemontic gear, go! Can't wait to get copyrighted for saying that. I don't think you can get copyrighted for quotes and stuff. You can only copyright it for, like, actual... I don't really know how exactly you get copyrighted by stuff like that. But, yeah. 
I think you just get you can only get copyrighted if you actually play the you can only get copyrighted if you play the actual music. You can't get copyrighted if you make like your own like little parody of it. You just have to give credit that it, you don't own it. You know, I don't think you can make money from it. Like it would go to the person, but like, who who cares? It's a quote from the Pokemon anime. Everyone knows what it is. GG. Good game. I'm not even gonna explain the drill at this point. Let me just go with this lead because we all know that I live with Skellies. I probably should have examined the team so I know what's a threat, what's not. Uh, light types. Uh, Loom line's pretty decent here. Uh, well, I can resurrect here, but realistically. I mean, I'm gonna be summon every time. Like, I'm gonna get one shot regardless. I could honestly save Exoskelius, cause having the fast option and maybe even pursuiting, I don't really know. I could keep this thing around. I'll keep it around, I'll keep it around, honestly. Hmm. Okay, so I can revive. So I have a safe switch into something, then I can actually hit it. I'm gonna go Jest Whirl. I'll try. I'll, I'll try to get Exoskeletus to work. Does it get Days? I should have checked if it got Days. Doesn't look like it. I get hit pretty hard there by Trilemental Slash. Okay. So here, I really feel like Recombobulates the play. Oh no! What are they going to Theater? I'm completely walled. Then Earth Surge would be the better play. Then I go into you, right? I mean, if you have Dark Slash, you click it, right? If you're Dark Slash, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive and free! Okay, uh, you quick strike. But here goes my only defensive thing. Bye. What are you going into? Grufflin? That is not a mold. I'm just going to say that now. That ain't a mold. This is a switch in that we can actually get Exoskelius in versus. So I'm going to go for just a quick recombobulate. Or I just go for overall damage. I think I'm just going to recombobulate. I think it's just a better move to click here. Because we could possibly lower its melee defense, getting us a really, really nice swarm. But it won't do that much to Clang Tang. The magic defense lower is really nice. I have a, a speed boost too, which is beautiful. Definitely gonna go down though, unfortunately. Very sad. Or I could also go core you and go for the snap freeze, but this is an Exoskelia showcase. Okay. Swarm. Can we swarm? Let's it's not even gonna kill, is it? It's not even gonna kill it's not gonna kill. Oh my god, it's not gonna kill and I'm max speed. I have like what 39 attack? Oh god, it's not gonna kill. It's not gonna kill. It's not gonna kill. You're switching into what? Ghost Rider? What is that? Is that a Pokemon? Okay, that did like four damage. Um, okay. So, I have some news. You're clicking. You you see the quad effective move, right? You see it and you're clicking it. I know you see those arrows and you're like, oh my god, I have to click. Or I just sack off my best thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> that's not good! Oh no. Yeah, that's not good at all. And now Bunswirl dies just so I can... Lumaline's gonna have to carry the rest of this game. And I don't know- I don't really know how I'm gonna do that, I'll be honest. Yeah, it doesn't even freaking kill because Bunswirl freaking sucks. Oh, now you click Crunch. Why'd you not click it before? Doodoo -doo Head? I guess I could get the guard to kill with Pursuit. Okay, I can still win. It's fine. Springling can just leap away the whole team and we win. We need Lumaline to deal with the Thea Terror. We can't beat Moss, though. Ugh! What do we do against Moss? Ugh. They went for a switch, we pursued it. As they switch into the Clangatang. As they take more damage. Um... Honestly, we could low-key win the game with Lumaline plus Springling. It could happen, 
But I would need enough damage for a Leaf Blade to kill this Clangatang. Then I would need to Illuminate Outspeed Grufflin, which it doesn't. I need Exoskelius alive to swarm the Grufflin and hit it a bit so then Quick Strike kills. I need everything alive right now, and you just get to click, um, Trilemental, which is ice, and then I die, and I can't kill it. It's an unwinnable game for my, for my point right now. I don't, Pursuit doesn't even do enough either. Oh my god. We barely even do enough. Shatter. I think Earth Surge in that range should kill. Spark. Okay, we resist. We resist. We resist. And if they go Moss, we go Exo. I just need this to kill right now. Like... <laughs> 151 versus... It's not gonna kill. Wait, what if he goes for Shatter? No, he's gonna Dark Slash as he totally saw the thing. No, it's over. It's over. I need. I would need to swarm Thea Terror. Hello? Oh, shoot. Now they get to Kona Cold. <laughs> They're gonna Kona Cold. 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 Um... You don't outspeed Grufflin anyway. Uh, bye. And I gotta go spring just to do enough, though. Exoskeletus will have to live. I don't know why I'm still trying. This game is just completely over, and it's not in my favor. You're gonna Kona Cold, and I know you want to. Like, you clicked Kona Cold already, and I know you did. But I need... Leaf Blade doesn't do enough, though, dude. It's over. Exoskeletus, we need to live, but we are quite literally one hit to any move in the game. Yeah, they clicked the Kona Cold there. I'm gonna cry. That's fine. Exoskelius lived, so that's part I can put in the video. I'm not desperate. Um, now, look, 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 look. You have a 200 attack stat. Come on. 200 attack stat. Come on. 200. Oh, wait. You know, it's still over, but wait. Actually... It's not over. I need to crit the Lumaline. <laughs> As they go, Mascomedy, the Thea Terror. Can I crit? <laughs> Ain't no way. I mean, I'm dead either way, so. Do I live that? Wait. 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 If, wait, no, I don't outspeed. I can't outspeed the Grufflin. It's over. I can't win. I, there's no possible way. I don't think it's possible. I would need to quick strike this and outspeed it and then go for an Aurora Flash. And then from there, I would need to um, huh, glow up on their Luma line. So, uh, the only possible way victory comes my way is if I outspeed Grufflin, which I don't because I have 165 speed. I think I should go with the Sunbonnet then if I don't outspeed here. Wait. Please go into Lumaline. Okay, I'm hoping that was a speed tie. No, I'm so sad. It's time. I, it's time. I, I, you know, I, I switched to be a little, little faster than usual. Um, yeah, Exoskelius. May, Mayolacant, Mayolacant? Okay. 
Okay. Now, um, I'm going to crystal cut. Let's go. <laughs> Do I got it? <laughs> I'm still alive! <laughs> oh my god. You can't kill me! I will survive as long as I know how to love. Okay, well, bye, Exoskelius. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the Exoskelius gameplay. I mean, I think it's working out relatively well. Oh my god, they're gonna go straight into uh, the Cory, aren't they? They don't want to take this Recombine Blade. They're going to go into Koryu. They're going to save this thing for later against maybe something. I'm just going to Earth Surge hit the Koryu a bit. I, I refuse to believe you stay in. I refuse. Well. That's not exactly fun, is it? Uh, Harmony? Let me, let me predict his Harmony. Watch this. About to be insane. Now that's what you call a prediction. There's the magma toad. But does the glow up kill the magma toad? I, I, I'm for once actually going to pull the damage Calcadoodle world. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Lumiline with a magical attack status boost with a not a drenched sun hat. Um, what is it called? Pale sun bonnet gave it a sandstone necklace and an amber trap fly at plus two, 290 earth surge versus a magmo toad. Uh, it could low key kill, depends on the set. I'll go for it, whatever. Oh my god. Hold up. I think because of the beast be summon chip we kill that. Ice Quaza. <laughs> I I'm willing, I'm willing, I'm down. I I'm I'm <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> OMG. Hold on. Gyrona. Let me go with an Aurora Flash. Does about, it can't, no, I don't kill it here. I definitely don't kill it. And I think I need to keep Lumaline around for later. Getting those two kills is what I think I'm down for now. I'll take that. So I'll go into you now. Ow! My god, that did a lot of damage. Um, climate shot. If they go Gramantle, that's fine. I, that's a lot of damage, holy crap. You're at 88, took damage from that. No, I don't have speed. I'm an Enlightenment, because there ain't no way you click it again. You're night knighting here, then I Enlightenment, then I outspeed your whole team, plus I get the attack boost, and then I win the game if he night knights here. Yeah, I win the game. Daz GG's. Because my climate shot kills, I hope, anyway. Ah, uh, it doesn't kill, actually. That ain't gonna kill, but I still get good damage. The B summon's putting in a lot of work, though. B summon's one of the only reasons we're still even alive. Yeah, I just need to not get hit by the night night that hard. Do 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 do. Okay, let's go into the next thing. And I totally lost my train of thought. Uh, hello. What was I doing? Going into the core? You? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Koryu can come out and get a completely free Icy Slash. Does a lot of damage. 
They switch into what? Golden Eagle. That takes a lot of damage. I take some damage too in return probably because of the spiky thorns, I assume. Yeah, so you're probably gonna go for the electric move and paralyze me. I hate Bun Swirl, so I'll kill it. <clears throat> I brought Bun Swirl just to give it a test drive and turns out it sucks, so. It's actually shock therapy. Okay. Let me careless assault then get some big damage off. Give me some damage. I mean, can't Sling technically win now? Slash kills, Leaf Blade maybe kills, Leaf Blade kills. I know Leaf Blade kills this. Now you're forced to kill this. You're forced to hit this. Crackling actually comes out. Okay. So they're gonna try to stall. If I care to stall again, it probably kills, but I of course I get fully parried. Because why would I not? Full para always happens to me when I don't need it to happen. I do get my character sword off this time. The nice damage there is they go if they go for the kill, I win. If they go kill, it's over. Okay, nice. Now um I think Springling gets to come in fairly free right now, yeah. Springling comes in for free right now. And the slash comes out and it's entirely free to click. Their switch into this doesn't really exist. Grimantle dies. The my myola can't my can't yeah my can't i'm worried about that because i know it's got the uh rock head ability so if they go into my can't we go into luma line after we sacrifice springling but the the, the b summon chip might actually be enough let's find out is it enough let's see leaf blade comes out is it enough can we do 59 i doubt we do 60 percent. i doubt it yeah that's totally fine, though. Yeah, from here we go, Koryu. They can't win in this in the in their situation right now. They can't win. I'm gonna quick ice just to guarantee I get this kill because I'm worried. Like, what if it has priority? I'm gonna make sure. I, I don't know what this thing does yet. So they go scarf down so I get the KO on that, which is nice. Oh, I see. They're trying to. Sa well, what's the point of saving this whenever I can just go Luma Line? I don't get that. I mean, you're just letting me kill this with a. I don't kill it with Dark Slash, but I kill it with Luma Line, right? And Luma Line outspeeds. GG's. <laughs> it took one damage, probably. <laughs> the line went crazy. GG's! Good game. Good, good game. Now, I understand that this specific showcase is probably not what you guys were all expecting, that I don't really do a whole lot with Exoskelius, but that's pretty much what this thing is going to do. I don't really see any other use for it besides being a suicide lead and pursuing like Dineko B summon leads. You know, that's pretty much the only thing I can see it doing that it's going to be really, really good at. But I just think if you want to use a B summon, use Dineko, which is better than this thing. Dineko is faster, has a way, has a pretty bit like a better ability. You pretty much with this thing, you're only setting up B summon, then you're going for a damaging attack, much like Dineko. Um, but. Exoskeletus gets at least three guaranteed turns to be on the field because it gets the Determination Jelly, uh, the Revival, and then it gets an extra turn after that. But yeah, hopefully that you guys enjoyed. And I give this thing probably like a three out of 10. It really wasn't that impressive. But yeah, hopefully that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.